Simple and Out is the easiest to use in outboard out there with applications for phones and desktop computers and tablets and even televisions, as well as integrations with popular services like Slack and Microsoft services like Teams. Uh, today, we're going to focus on the board, the most popular centralized hub that we offer that allows you to see your users and perform quick status updates. And a couple of notes right before we get started that this board is going to be very similar to a lot of the options you'll have in our other boards on our other applications and integrations. And the board will keep itself up to date like they all do, uh, so you always have the latest information in front of you. Now, our board is composed, at least on simpleandout.com here, um, into two parts. There's the board on the left here, and there is my individual user uh, where I can perform actions on the right. I'm currently today logged in as Sarah Smith in a fictitious company we call Arlington Financial, which we use for uh, videos like this. So, of course, we can see everybody on the board here. We can see what's currently going on. So I can see right now Anthony Morris is in a meeting. I can see Ava is working from home. I can see Daniel is also working from home. And Emily and Ethan are in the office. So these are all kept up to date again throughout the day. We can see what's happening uh, pretty easily. Now, as Sarah Smith currently, I'm in the office. This is my current status as well. And I can perform quick status updates anytime I need. Every status in Simple and Out is composed of two parts. First, there's the status, which could be in or out or remote or sick or vacation, etc. Uh, your organization has the ability to control which statuses are available. And then every is, uh, status is composed of an optional comment. And comments are valuable uh, because they add additional context to your board. Uh, so at the bare minimum, to update my status, I don't have to do any typing. I don't have to do anything. I can just click a button here and instantly I am now out. And again, that's fine. That updates on the board. Everybody can see that I'm out. If I scroll down here to Sarah Smith, everyone can see that Sarah Smith is now out. But out isn't necessarily super valuable. We could be more valuable by adding an additional comment. So maybe I can say back tomorrow. So this is better because now not only am I out, but people have an idea of uh, when I'm out, uh, when I'm coming back, etc. cetera. Uh, so comments can be used for anything and they add that valuable context to the board. Now, typing sometimes stinks, especially when you're on a phone. Uh, so we offer uh, quick picks, which are one-click options where you can set both your status as well as your comment, all without having to do any typing with a single click. So for example, maybe I'm currently working from home today. I can click working from home. I have this quick pick set up in advance. So now not only am I working from home, I've left a comment, which is valuable, but I'm also put myself into a remote status so people can see that I'm currently not in the office, but I'm available, I'm working from home. Uh, every user can have up to 10 of these that you can set yourself, and every organization can set up the 20 company favorites uh, that everybody can reuse. And uh, we have an entirely separate video on uh, managing quick picks. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. Now, if you don't want to do the management of quick picks, we do have a recents tab here, and this just gives you a list of the 10 most frequent or most uh, recent things that you've done in your organization. So you still have one click options available to you without having to necessarily configure things. So maybe I'm going to click here the at lunch, and that instantly puts me into a break status with a comment of at lunch so people have an idea of what I'm up to. And again, I didn't have to set these up in advance. They'll just curate and take care of themselves. So now let's go back over here to the board. So while we have the board here, the board does offer a number of great features and customization options so you can get a board that works for you. First thing to note is that Simple and Out has a feature called Groups. This allows you to group your users into a lot of different groups. It allows you to filter and slim down your board as well as use it for a number of other features in Simple and Out. And we do have an entire separate video on groups. But of course, right now I'm seeing everyone, but if I want, maybe I only want to see the managers. And that everybody else goes away. Now I can just see the managers and see what's going on for them. And again, this allows me to just see a slimmer board presentation. I could also have a great find as you type search. So for example, maybe my phone goes off and somebody says, hey, do you know if Liz Schultz is in the office today? I can start typing L-I-Z and say, well, nope, looks like Liz is out sick today. Can I offer you her voicemail instead? So a great find as you type search if you need to get to a user in a hurry. Now, beyond that, we also have some additional presentation options available under this gear icon. So if I click on the gear icon, it folds out some additional options for me. So I can choose whether or not what columns I want to see. So maybe this details column isn't as important to me. I can hide that away. Maybe I'd rather see the groups column so I can see which groups users are in, uh, phone numbers. I can even choose whether or not I want to see the pictures or I want to slim the presentation down to fit more users on the screen at once. 
um, and uh, not see the profile images. I can also control the text size, so I can make the text size bigger, um, uh, blind uh, person mode, if you will, um, or something, again, smaller, so I can see a lot more users on the screen at one time. I can also control um, the sort. So by default, you can click on any of these headers to sort. So right now, if I click on in, um, I can see people who are in, followed by people who are remote, etc. cetera. Um, or I can click again if I want to reverse the sort and just see people who are on vacation first going the other way down. Um, or alphabetically sort here, but I also could do complicated multi-column sorting as well. So maybe what I'd like to see is uh, the users ordered by status, but then once inside the status, maybe I'd like to see them their names. So alphabetical list of all the people who are in, followed by an alphabetical list of the people who are remote, etc. Now, the great thing about Simple and Out, at least in the web browser here, we will remember your settings. So if I click the gear icon to disappear the settings again, We'll remember your settings. And so the next time you load up simpleandout.com in this web browser, uh, you will get the, the board exactly the way you like it. Now, finally, the last feature I'd like to display about the board is we have a full screen board mode uh, available in the board as well. This works out great if you're in a situation where you want to be further away from your screen and you still want to be able to see your users. So if I click over here, right above the board, full screen view, and a couple of things you'll notice right away. First of all, this is a really stark presentation for full screen view. Um, it is a dark background with uh, white text, uh, easier to see uh, across the room or in a bigger screen if you have your computer, for example, connected to like maybe a television monitor. Uh, another thing you'll notice is that, of course, we have multiple users in every row, uh, which allows you to fit a lot more users on the screen at once. So this could work out really great for a presentation option in that regard. We also have a company setting for what colors are used for the background and the text color. You can uh, customize that as well. Now, we still have everyone. We still have our group manager here. So if you still want to reduce to a smaller groups, we still have your find as you type search here as well. And then over here, we still have a gear icon allowing you to have, again, some additional control. So here, for example, we don't have profile images. I like profile images. So let's put the profile images back so we can see our, our nice people's pictures. Um, you can control the text size and the multi-column sorting as well, just like you can on the other board. But here we also have an additional uh, control or a setting where you can decide how many columns of users to see. So I can maybe reduce the columns if I just want to get a slimmer, maybe a narrower presentation. I could also decide to go ahead and make the columns a lot more columns. This, in combination with the text size, would let me fit a lot more users on the screen at once. So that's full screen mode. And again, just like the regular mode, we'll remember the choices you've made. So the next time you load up your full screen mode, you get it just the way you like it. So this is the board. Again, this one available on simpleandout.com. But of course, we have boards with similar features across all of our apps and integrations that Simple and Out offers uh, to all of our users.